Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you guys? <laughs> I started here, but I was talking Portuguese. So I finished and I started again. Hello everyone. Hello. I'm here. This, I am Kelly Fisher. Our second day of this live talking about um, dream thieves and uh, purple killers. So, hello, Anna. Thank you for joining me tonight. Guys, I really don't know how Facebook works, so I can't see you guys here. Hello. Um, so, guys, when you start to come please say hi to me and then i can see you i can i can see who is coming so it will be a pleasure to say hi to you but then say hi to me first because i can't see you okay so i'm so sorry by that i'm so sorry anyway so but i was uh doing the live first in portuguese on instagram and I don't know if it's my throat, but like it's hurting so bad. Anyway, but I will be good, okay? I will give my 100% for you the same way I gave to them. So guys, yesterday we talked about imposter syndrome. Many people reach out to me saying, I've never heard about that. What is this? This afternoon I had a meeting um, with a client um, and then the secretary or the, 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 the assistant she asked me Kelly what is imposter syndrome I've never heard about that and then I explained to her but many people reach out to me so me too I didn't know about that you know I just heard about that when God spoke to me and I will talk a little bit about that today but anyway um, was an open eye for me and it was really cool because I could see that um, there is another thing that maybe many people are thinking that is depression but it's not depression so it's good when we know when we have the knowledge when we know oh my my mom is here um when we have the knowledge and then we don't need to suffer because of lack of knowledge so that's why i'm here that's why i'm bringing that so yesterday we learned what is imposter imposter syndrome what uh, the symptoms, um, who are the majority of the people that is uh, being, how can I say this, um, suffering for that. 85% of the women that achieve high level in companies, executive levels or high, um, achieve many conquers, they go through self-doubt they go through self -conf uh, lack of confidence they go through this imposter syndrome they think they are not good enough and someone will find out that they are a fraud so this is very very sad is very bad because they already did many things they already conquered many things anyway so that's why I'm here and that's why I'm going to talk to you because today I will bring to you a new phase, let's say this way, that I found out about imposter syndrome. So yesterday was more technical, but today I will bring a little bit of my story and how I found out that I was going through this in the beginning of this year. So, um, as sooner you identify that, sooner you can be healed and you don't need to go to the next stage that could be a depression, okay? So, 
why I am explaining all of this, like I said to you guys, is because I went through that in the beginning of this year, okay? Um, so for you guys that are here and you don't know me, I am Kelly Fisher. I am daughter of God, beloved daughter of God. I am daughter of my mom, Damaris, she's here, and my father. Um, I am sister of my, my, my brother and my sisters. I am a wife of Kent, Kent Fisher. I am mother of Josue. And why I'm saying that, because I learned that I need to go to my position. And that's my position. This is my position. I am daughter first. And then I am sister. And then I am wife. And then I am mom. Okay? Have a position. So I am business coach. Um, for the last four years, I'm working as a business coach. My background is architect. I, I did the architecture and I worked as an architect for 17 years because I chose this profession because of my father. He had a big, huge company, uh, construction company uh, in Brazil. So that's why me and my siblings, we chose everything related to him in this area. Anyway, but why I'm saying that, because even with all the conquers that I had, even with all of the things that I had, I, I, I conquered. So I moved to US you, with 41 years old and decided to be business coach in US, working with Americans, helping them to think strategically, helping them to increase their revenues and find freedom, find finding, thinking strategically, putting in place a, a, a method, a system, they can uh, find freedom to enjoy the money, the profit they are doing with their beloved ones. So that's my, my goal. And I came here with this uh, goal, with this mindset. So even that I, I achieved that and I had some uh, clients and we and many many others business owners small business owners with this kind of achievement I doubt I, I, I had the self-doubt in the beginning of this year I went through that you know so a friend of mine the last year she called me and she said Kelly God told me to pray for you how can I pray for you? So she stayed like 21 days praying for me and giving me prophetic words every day. And at the end of the uh, at the end of the 21 days, she gave me a word that match matched with uh, came uh, the same thing that God spoke with me that the time to be a warrior was over because the warrior goes to the war. Uh, fighting with the um, with the uh, sword, like with with the gun or whatever the weapon, but but with their own body, you know, exposing their own body. Um, but so this time to expose their own body to fight was over. Now was time to. Um, be ambassador so god called me this year 2022 to be ambassador to be someone that win through the word through the word through the word so the ambassador he carries the authority from the government and with a word of that came from the government he can change destinies they, they can change the nations and the the course of any war through the word so i was like okay i don't need to 
uh, fight anymore. I don't need to be a warrior anymore. Now I will win the battles through my word. And then I started to do this exercise. Anyway, so uh, I started to declare to myself the truth about myself. I started to do many things and many like coaching exercises and many things, but didn't work. So she told me, Kelly, go to this therapist and, and talk to her. So I was very skeptical, you know, like I didn't want to like do that because of my faith. But then I saw that she has the, ma the same faith as me. And then I went to the therapy. So she made um, a session with me and it was like really, really, really good. And the first thing I understood was um, I, I got out of my position. I, I was like here and I went to here. So I left my, my position. This way I was like, okay, so she finished the, the session. She said, don't try to understand, don't try to do anything. Go do whatever you wanna do, whatever you like to do. Just go and do that and then forget it, okay? God, God will talk to you. And then I went to, uh, I started to play guitar. So, and then came the, 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 the word called uh, imposter. And then I was like, hmm, what is that imposter? And then I went to Google and was putting imposter and then came the video syndrome, imposter syndrome. So I started to study about that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not depression. This is imposter syndrome. I'm going through that. Oh my gosh. And now. What is going on? So I start all that questions that I put on the post was everything in my head. You know, many things that people said to me was in my head. I was like, you know what? It's time to stop to be entrepreneur. It's time to find a job. It's time to do something like this. It's time to, you know what? How can I teach someone? They know better than me. How can I teach some Americans? They probably know better than me because uh, in Brazil, we learn with Americans. How can I teach someone like that? So was all these um, uh, many voices in my head. And then I was like, okay, I will take my position. I will go to my, my position and I will do what God told me to do. So it was a long process, total six, six months, we are in June, six months of process of mentorings and sessions and therapy and treatment um, with this therapist that I talked to you guys. So the last two, two weeks ago, and then I went to a mentoring with her and we did an exercise where she uh, led us to see the next level. So what is the next level? Because one thing is the vision of the future, the, the other thing is the next level. So I was, okay, I know my vision of the future is here in my visual board, but what is my next level? And then I had the amazing vision um, and Jesus was at the door and he told me, do you trust me? So come and see. And then I saw everything and I saw the next level and I saw me like teaching people in their companies and I saw everything. And then she, after this, she said, what is the steps for the next level? What the steps that you need to take for the next level? I was like, like you know what? First, I need to do my eyebrows. I need to uh, paint my hair. I need to, you know, do everything like that. And then I would start to call people. I start to schedule meetings. And then I did that next day. So next day I had uh, a meeting with a prospect client and she's a strategist, a digital strategist to do the marketing to launch um, products, info products. So I, she asked me, Kelly, when you started this about the, the imposter syndrome, how? And then I was telling her 
everything that I'm telling you guys here. So while I was talking to her about that, God answered the question I made to him in the beginning of the year when he told me about imposter i i asked him when when it started when this started god why uh, am i going through that i'm coach i am i went through all of these i did that i did i did emotional train uh, intelligence training i did many things so when this started why i, I uh, am i going th why i am going through that so that that day two weeks ago got answered so two years ago i hired someone that was like a high level coach and and in my uh community he's a high level coach he's very respected and very like authority so it was like i one of the best of the best he was charging at that time twelve thousand dollars it was like you know what i i need the best because i want to be the best for my clients i want to be a hundred percent business coaching in america i want to work with americans and this was 2020 i was working as a architect so and then the first session he told me um are you a business coach and then i said yes and he was like i will never hire you as a business coach and I was like, why not? Um, and then he was like, ah, you went through a bankruptcy in Brazil and then you moved it here and what is what did you build? And then I was like, <laughs> and then I said, wow. So the other life, someone said, oh, the people who, who, who fa failed, they, they know something that we don't know. So that was the mindset that I came to US because I learned that through a movement that I participated on the entrepreneur movement. So if you fail, you don't know, you know something that I don't know. So you need to teach me how don't do that. So that was my mindset. But then he changed that inside of me. He was putting doubt in me. So my mind was like, okay, he knows something that I don't know yet and I need to learn with him. So everything that he said was kind of a, that's the real truth. I need to follow everything. So I went to a huge that like doing all courses that he was telling me to do and buying everything that he was telling me to do. and going to all trainings that he was telling me to do and doing all those stuff at the end guys i didn't finish the process i didn't achieve any of that goals my goal was at that time to do fifteen thousand per month i didn't do anything and at the end the pressure was so big was so huge that i was not uh in my job and I, I was, I was got fired. So I saw that actually I put him in a place of authority that was more than authority was a kind of an idol because I was like, he knows something that I don't know. Because if he said that he will never hire me is because he knows something that I don't know. And then in the middle of the process and doing all of these trainings, I found out he was not doing a business coaching with me. He was doing another training, another type of coaching. That was not what I hired him to do. So he, he didn't use of integrity with me. And then um, he, during the process, he, he started to compare me with another person that was a trainer in the, the the company and i admired her i was like amazed by her because she trained me when i was in brazil and i admired her so much so he started to compare me with her in a way that i left my position again that i was not doing what god told me to do and i was doing what he was telling me to do and start to be a competitor of her 
in a way that was so toxic that I decided to get out to uh, change and, and don't be closer to her anymore because I saw that my feelings was not the same anymore towards her. So that's the, in my case, guys, was the dream thief, you know, that still my, he still my dream to be business coach. And then I went to a different route and I started to do kind of a life coaching and mentoring and all of these instead of do what I came here to do. So, um, and then the second part was, I, I, I saw that not only that, but he killed my purpose because my purpose was to be transformation agent, like to transform lives. And I was not transforming lives anymore because I was so afraid uh, that I'd stop it to show up here. I stopped it to show up on social media. I stopped to go to I stopped to go to network events. I stopped it to talk with people. I start to be just at home. I start to disappear. And I decided to go back to work. And I decided to, you know what? It's better I go back to work. It's better to take my architect license. It's better to do that. It's better like I go, I work 45 hours per day and go back and receive my salary and that's it. And not fulfilling my call. So I'm here and telling all this story, all of the story. Because remember what I told you in the beginning. God told me I am a prophet. My call is to be a prophet. So the prophet leave first is kind of Isaiah prophet. Leave first and then tell and then teach. So last Sunday he told me I gave you authority to, to teach. And I have the authority not only through him to teach you guys, but because I lived that as well. So because I went through that as well. And it's completely possible that you can be healed, that you can leave this place and you can be victorious and you can fulfill your call, your pur purpose, and you can go um, and do what you, you were called to do. So I'm telling all of you why you know the definition of imposter syndrome you know the symptoms. I told you that yesterday. You know when uh, uh, the treatment, you know you need a mentor to be accountable. And now you know when it started. So make this question, stop everything and ask if you are going through that right now, or if you know someone that is going through that right now, uh, make this question, you know, or, send me a direct message i will be glad to be with you i it will be my pleasure to help you because i know how important it was to help to have someone to help me when i needed to okay but make this question when it started when the lie came and installed in my head that changed it, the, the truth about myself that I, I, I believed more in the lie than in the truth about myself. Could be someone that spoke something to you and you, you simply believed. And guys, this is unconscious, okay? And it was completely unconscious for me and it stayed inside of me like for two years until go to the imposter syndrome crisis but during this time sometimes i went to a, a, a session with a client i was like what what am i doing here this guy knows more than me what i'm here trying to teach something they they know more than me i was with the self-doubt until come the real crisis. So I'm here to bring you clarity, to bring you information, to bring you clarity and 
saying I'm here to help you, for you to find out before me, you know, to find out in the beginning of everything, for you to be healed of that, because it's too bad when you, when you conquer so many things and you come to a moment that you don't believe in yourself anymore and you don't believe that you are capable anymore, you know, so it's very, it's very hard. But you can go through that and you can be a winner. You are a winner. That's the truth about yourself, okay? That's the truth about yourself. So, could be someone that say, said something to you in your job or a client or a professor or a, a authority or a husband or a wife so simply forgive you know forgive this person and go back to your place remember i told you imposter syndrome is when you leave your place so go back to your place that you belong you are son and daughter of god you are align yourself with your first level of relationship what is the first level of relationship kelly with your creator with the creator of everything the one who created you and with yourself so align yourself first okay go back to your place remember everything that you conquered before you are capable of you are capable to um you did before you can do it again you can do better the bible says jesus said to us I came and I did many things, but you guys, you will do even more, you know? Um, he is with you. So align yourself, go back to your place, and then identify. So when you align yourself with the creator of, of everything and with yourself, and then you can go and have the relationship with others with the second level others you know but first you you love god you love yourself and then you can have the friendship or whatever or teammates or pairs or whatever so when comes something that is not the truth about yourself you have your shield you have your helm uh, how do you say that i don't know but you have a shield that will come and then you will like a filter saying mm, this is not truth this is not truth about myself so you analyze and see oh this is not truth i don't accept that and then you will block that and you will not receive because you will always remind you remember you've you won the you can win the war through the word you will win through the word okay so but then you can could be asking like okay kelly but you are coach you are everything you are like you you went through a deliverance and you you do everything like that so why this happened to you and that's what we are going to talk on thursday and friday okay so i made the same question to god i was like okay so first of all god told me i'm a prophet so i need to leave first like isaiah leave first for them to have the authority authority to teach second of all um just came they like they like came to my mind and was here because I left my position because I put someone as authority bigger than God. I saw him as an idol and I put, put him in a place that was not his place to be. Yeah, positioning is the key. It's true, Anna. It's true. So I put him in a position that he couldn't be. This is the God's position, not his. So um and then something a saboteur um 
that I, and then I found out about the saboteur was didn't allow the filter of every knowledge of every experience of every wisdom the saboteur didn't allow those filters work and then this came and it stayed here for two years like just waiting 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 for the time to it stopped me so but praise god praise god jesus is so good to me that used this amazing friend in brazil to pray for me for 21 days and then told me about this therapies and then came the word like imposter right away and then i could you study all this time and my husband was all the time like you need to teach about that you need to teach about that um and they came the vision two weeks ago came the truth about uh where it started and so everything cooperated in a way that i could create this path to show you not only the definition of imposter syndrome but where it started and uh why sometimes the filters doesn't work the filters don't work in a way that the lie come and you you leave that so what are the dream thieves in your lives the 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 purpose killers could be a person that not the person but something that a person said to you could be the fear could be the the fear that paralyzes you could be the procrastination could be a trauma that happened in a way that is stopped to you to fulfill your purpose so you need to identify where it started where it started when this um thief came to steal your dream when this uh killer came the to kill the assassin came to kill your purpose so if you want to know more about that you can reach out to me we can ask together where the lie came the first time when this started I, i'm here for you guys but why the light can come why the filter is not working i will be talking about that on thursday and thursday and friday the saboteurs okay saboteurs is not a limiting belief is not a what can i say um i forgot the word but it's a, a different thing okay so stay with me tomorrow we don't have live because tomorrow i'll be serving at church but thursday i will be here 7 p.m talking about saboteurs and i want to see you again okay Do, did you guys like it It was easy to understand like i told you guys i could i can't see you so i don't know who is here um but tell me if you like it um if you saw value on that if it was good for you please share we'll be here until tomorrow 1 p.m and then i will take uh, i will delete so enjoy okay thank you so much for joining me tonight and i want to hear from you comment what you your thought about that and send me a direct okay thank you guys bye bye thank you anna Thank you so much. God bless you all.